what's going on guys, CJR here today with a real quick video on some really cool gaming items that I ordered from AliExpress.com. Hold for one minute. I wanted to show you guys these items. Uh, most of these are cables, uh, replacement parts. Uh, AliExpress is a Chinese website. It's almost like the Chinese eBay. Um, I would highly recommend that you sign up for Alipay. It protects you, gives you some buyer protection. You sign up with your, uh, it's, it's hooked up to your credit card. Uh, I've ordered uh, probably, I've probably put through 50 orders in the last six months and I've had zero issues so far. So uh, it's a safe site to use. I know people, a lot of people are uh, apprehensive about ordering stuff from a Chinese website, but uh, um, I can tell you that it's safe as long as you order things from, um, it's just like eBay, just look at the order, uh, the seller's feedback, um, see how many orders were placed for that particular item and then uh, go check out the feedback left. Uh, on those products, it's, it's, it's common sense stuff. Uh, but I highly recommend AliExpress for picking up stuff like this. So I'm gonna start off with a couple uh, reproduction slash homebrew carts I picked up. Um, these were $7 each shipped and that's Canadian. So I think they're around five bucks US, really, really cheap. The first one here is a 240p test pattern cart. Uh, this cartridge contains a whole bunch of uh, audio and video tests um, to calibrate your uh, TV, I use it to calibrate my CRT television. Um, it can also, you can also check the speakers on your CRTs. You can use it as a uh, way to test the output for audio and video of a con of a Genesis. This is a Genesis cartridge, so. Uh, just a really useful tool, uh, seven bucks. Uh, next up, I took a shot and ordered Fix-It Felix Jr. Uh, this is a homebrew. Uh, there is an arcade cabinet. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really fun game. It's actually really good. The one gripe I do have is uh, when you die and it restarts the game, um, you kind of have to watch the whole beginning cutscene, um, and it takes like a good 30, 40 seconds of sitting through that before you can play it again. Um, kind of like Burger Time and Donkey Kong, a little bit. Something like, no, I shouldn't say that. Burger Time, Donkey Kong, and Rampage. That's probably the love child of those three games. And then Pulse Man. Pulse Man's a game that only came out in Japan, I believe. It's absolutely amazing. Go check out some video on Pulse Man. Um, I had, don't have a problem ordering these cartridges, and I've, I've heard people mock other people when they say it's just for my personal use. Um, that is the case. Um, I'm never gonna sell this as part of my collection or anything like that. It's just so I can play the cartridge. Um, the cartridge are. Uh, the cartridges are quite cheap feeling, but I mean for seven bucks, it's actually a really good deal. Um, I've played them all, they all work great, no problems with any of these, so very happy with these. Uh, next up, I ordered some Super Nintendo... Um, uh, Super Nintendo GameCube... Super Nintendo slash GameCube... What else did they work on? Drawing a blank here. N64. Very, very uh, important cables if you are buying retro systems. Uh, some people are gonna say they're cheap, they are cheap. Uh, I've ordered these from eBay probably for the last five years. Um, I've never had a problem with any single one. They're clearly not as good as the original Nintendo ones, but they're absolutely fine. The picture looks just as good um, to the untrained eye, unless you're, I don't see any difference between the official and these. These are definitely cheaper, might not last as long. Uh, these I ended up getting for around $2 Canadian. Absolutely fantastic deal. What do we got here? Um, forgot to bring it down, but I actually ordered a retro pie from uh, AliExpress also. And uh, this is the controller I ordered to go with it. Um, Super Nintendo controller is great for it because it has six buttons. It's just a great controller to play anything, um, any retro games on, USB controller. This is around five or six bucks. It is quite cheap, but it does the trick. Um, I had a couple of Wii systems that I want needed to get rid of. Um, I'm actually surprised at how well we sell. I just sold them before I came down here for 50 bucks with all the hookups. Anyway, some of them were missing the doors. These were like 90 cents for a full set of the Wii doors. Always nice to have extras. Um, let me get these mixed up here. These are Genesis Genesis Model 2 cables. Extremely hard to find these, the non-RF uh, versions. These were around $3. 
You really can't beat that. Really nice quality and the picture is fantastic. To be honest, all the stuff that you buy, anything that's made by Hyperkin or anything, that's all made in China. So um, if anybody wants to say these are knockoffs or whatever, all that stuff's made in the same place, just in a different factory down the street. So um, that's a really fantastic deal for three bucks for Genesis AV cables. Um, this is the Model 1 Genesis cable, I believe. I think that's what I ordered there. We got here another one of those. Uh, Super Nintendo controller extensions, another great source of, um, uh, AliExpress is also a great source for controller extensions. You can see here I've got, uh, I picked up two N64 controller extensions. These are around a dollar or two a piece, really fantastic. Um, kind of a cool little thing here. This is for the GBASP, this is a headphone adapter. So it goes into the IO or whatever parallel port in the GBA SP and it has a headphone jack out because the SP for some reason didn't include one, which is ridiculous. Other than that, it's one of the greatest handhelds ever made, but uh, they didn't put a headphone jack in it for some reason. Um, is that it? I think that's it. The rest are all uh, GameCube um, cables. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm not going to post the links. You can easily find these on AliExpress. Uh, they're pretty much all the same stuff. All you're doing is getting it from a different seller. Just look for the cheapest one, not necessarily the cheapest one. Um, look for the cheapest, but with the most number of orders and feedback left. That's how I do everything on AliExpress. Uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram, link below, you'll see that I've ordered a bunch of jerseys from there. Um, basketball jerseys. I'm a big basketball fan. And that's how I do it. I just look at... Uh, if it's a couple dollars more, I'll go with the person who has the most feedback and orders um, jerseys sold. So uh, that's typically how I recommend you do it. Um, one thing that I thought was really cool is on there right now is um, they have a Dreamcast um, VGA cable. Uh, Dreamcast VGA cable, but it doesn't have the box. It's just a straight cable, so you don't need to deal with a clunky box. $15. I really wanted to order one just to try it, but I didn't really want to blow 15 bucks just for the fact of... Uh, just trying it out, but um, I mean, for 15 bucks, I would take a shot if, if I didn't have one already. So uh, really cool stuff like that. I highly recommend you go and at least browse through the stuff on AliExpress. Um, instead of paying $15 for a um, uh, something like a Super Nintendo AV cable, go, and gra go grab it on there for uh, three bucks. Everything's free shipping, forgot to mention that. Uh, always free shipping. Uh, it takes a little while to get here, but I'm never really in a hurry. It takes uh, anywhere from two to three weeks typically for something to get here. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to check out that Instagram in the uh, description below to see uh, this kind of cool stuff when I picture when I actually pick it up. Um, and uh, thanks for watching and until the next episode.